Little do you know that Obama and the leaders of our church have a secret, sinister pact to hide from the public the most terrible warning encrypted inside our Holy Bible, the only prophecy that has remained obscured under thick veils to this day. Because according to the final chapters of the Bible, Obama will not finish his second term. He's the 44th and last president of the U.S. And our country and every American are about to face their greatest bedevilment from an enemy fiercer, devious, and more powerful than any we face so far. And while the public and the media have their attention set on ISIS, these dark forces are covertly moving into place, the last pieces of their diabolical plan. Right now, only a handful of church leaders know the true meaning of this biblical prophecy, and they swore a blood oath to take this sacred secret to their graves. Because if this leaks out, it will cause panic among all faithful followers of the words of our Lord. Obama himself is unaware of the extent of the massacre that is to come, and there is nothing anyone can do to prevent this from happening. This ancient prophecy is coded within the visions of four men. These four evangelists are John the Apostle, Jeremiah, Isaiah, and Ezekiel. They were chosen to give a very precise and terrifying warning of things to come in the end of times. This prophecy will fulfill the act of God, and the world as we know it will perish in flames. Therefore, before going any further, I must warn you, what you are about to see is deeply disturbing because it will link current events to ancient biblical prophecies step by step. Once you discover the chilling evidence of the words of our Lord coming true, there is no turning back. It is a revelation so powerful. When you see the biblical evidence that this great unavoidable ruination will come to reality, it will simply be impossible for you to go about your daily life like you used to before knowing the truth. And it all starts with one simple question. Does it not seem odd to you that America, the richest and most powerful country today, the only country who has liberated other nations from evil, the greatest evangelical nation on the earth, is not even mentioned in the Bible? After all, as we know, the Bible accurately predicts so many other historical events. The two world wars, man reaching outer space, and the return of the Jews to their homeland after centuries of exile. All of these events were seen and described by the prophets in their writings. America played the key role in all of this. Yet, the church does not teach America's place in the Bible, and there is a very good reason for that. One which I will reveal in a few moments. I will show you exactly why this knowledge is a closely guarded secret. And you'll see that we are getting closer and closer to fulfilling this ancient prophecy, as the world leaders and their armies are covertly maneuvered into place in preparation for the events that lead to the second coming of our Lord. Most importantly, you will see the exact reason why this prophecy will come true before the 1st of January 2017, and you will know God's wrath will bestow upon our lands with great vengeance. But I will warn you whom to fear. Fear him who, after he is killed, has authority to cast into hell. Yes, I tell you, fear him. Luke 12, 5. The adversaries of the Lord shall be broken to pieces, Against them he will thunder in heaven. The Lord will judge the ends of the earth. He will give strength to his king and exalt the power of his anointed. 1 Samuel 2.10 As it is God's will that you are here now, witnessing the unmasking of evil, it is the will of our Lord and Savior that you and your family see this and be saved from all the wrongdoings of our times, just as the Holy Word says. I have told you these things, so that in me you may have peace. In this world, you will have trouble, but take heart. I have overcome the world. John 16, 33. But before we go any further, you need to know just who I am and how I came into the position of revealing such shocking facts. My name is Nathan Shepard. I've been a fervent Christian ever since I was a child. I've put my life in the services of God, committing my time to the study of archeology span and theology. And I've given 17 years of my life to studying the ancient scriptures as a pastor and teacher to one of the largest universities in New Haven, Connecticut, using my worldly doctor's degree in theology and the history of religions to unravel the mysteries encoded in the Bible. Before making this video, I taught for four years the master class for methods of scientific research in religion, preparation, challenges, and possible solutions, until one day, by divine providence, I made a startling discovery that connected all the hidden clues. With the grace of God, I received illumination about the place of the United States in Bible prophecy, you must understand, the holy texts of the Bible are full of metaphors and symbolism because the prophets tried to describe things that didn't exist in their time. So when the prophets saw airplanes in their visions, the description would be, mount up to the heaven, referring to air travel and the Air Force. 
Just like it will ascend above the heights of the clouds, it will be the most high is clearly a metaphor for reaching space. The fact that both of these metaphors refer to a nation known to Bible scholars as the Babylon or Mystery Babylon is no coincidence. Mystery Babylon is an end times nation. How else would it be able to have an air force and reach space? And it is described in great detail by John the Apostle in the book of Revelation and by the prophets Jeremiah and Isaiah. Holy men who have heard the word of God and carefully put in writing to save our lost souls when the tribulation comes. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Isaiah 41.10 Through the account of John the Apostle and the prophets Jeremiah and Isaiah, Babylon is hailed as a queen among nations and the lady of kingdoms. It is the youngest and only superpower in the world. Jeremiah 47, Revelations 18. According to the prophets, Babylon reigneth over the kings of the earth. Revelation 17, 18. It was the praise of the entire earth and an astonishment among the nations. Jeremiah 51, 47. Babylon is a democracy weighed down by its huge government. Thou art wearied in the multitude of thy councils. Isaiah 47, 13. It has the most powerful military force on the planet and is called the hammer of the whole earth. Jeremiah 50, 23. The merchants of the world are made rich through trading with this nation, and the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. Revelations 18.3 Is it starting to look like they are talking about the United States of America? The description gets even more specific from now on. The nation is a coastal nation with deep water ports and much international trade. And every shipmaster and all the company and ships and sailors and as many as trade by sea. Revelations 18.17 O thou that dwellest upon many waters, abundant in treasures. Jeremiah 51, 13. Bear in mind that ancient Babylon, current day Iraq, has very limited access to the sea. Babylon has a unique and remarkable beginning, different from other nations and has been awe-inspiring from its birth. Isaiah 18, 2. The U.S. is the first country to successfully become independent from a colonial empire, the British Empire. We speak the English language and we are the descendants of the first British colonies. That's why England is like a mother to the US. It fits perfectly with the description in Jeremiah 50:12. More so, the mother of Babylon has the symbol of the lion. Daniel 7:4, Ezekiel 38:13, Jeremiah 51:38, Psalm 17:12. The royal symbol of England is a lion. And the mother of Babylon in the end of times will be a state of major decline as the end nears. Jeremiah 50:12. The British Empire that ruled the earth for 200 years is no more. Most of its colonies are now independent. The British pound is no longer the world reserve currency and has been replaced by the dollar, the currency of its daughter. The prophets also foretold that Babylon becomes proud and arrogant and does not consider its end. Therefore hear now this, thou that art given to pleasures that dwellest carelessly, that sayest in thine heart, I am, and none else beside me. Isaiah 17, 7 and 8. How much she hath glorified herself, and lived deliciously. Revelations 18.7 Does this sound like American exceptionalism? The strong belief rooted inside our people that America is different from other nations, better than them in every possible way. Even the name Mystery Babylon is also deeply symbolic. It's a mystery because the prophets at the time of the visions didn't know of the existence of the North American continent. They literally had no idea what they were actually seeing and described it as best they could. And in ancient times, Babylon was the greatest city in the world, just like America is the greatest country in the world today. Ancient Babylon was constructed by people that came from all parts of the ancient world, what we may call today immigrants, just like the United States. But what about the personification of Babylon in the scriptures as a woman? The prophets use the word her. This is another very precise clue given to us through metaphors and symbolism that are so abundant in the holy book. Ask yourself this, what is the most widely known symbol of America? What is the image most immigrants and tourists associate with the U.S.? Is it a woman symbolizing liberty that sits in the harbor of the most important city in the United States? This is a very cryptic but important detail as it shows just how accurate the prophecy is. The prophets talk about the U.S. by using its most recognizable monument, the Statue of Liberty. So why on earth are they also calling it the Whore of Babylon? The sculptor of the Statue of Liberty was August Bertholdi, a mason belonging to the Great Masonic Lodge in Paris. Before beginning the Statue of Liberty project, Bertholdi was seeking a commission to construct a giant statue of the goddess of fertility Isis. 
as it was known to the Egyptians or Ishtar to the ancient Babylonians. The Romans also adopted this fertility goddess, but they changed the name to Libertas in Latin, Liberty in English. Libertas is the mythological equivalent of Isis and Ishtar. Therefore, the Statue of Liberty is also the Statue of Isis, or as the Babylonians called her, Ishtar, the goddess of fertility, love, and sex. According to the ancient pagan rituals, one could only be purified of sin after intercourse with a temple priest or priestess of Ishtar. In return for this salvation, a gift offering was needed. Ishtar was the patron mother of the temple priestesses and priests. She was the mother of what we would call today prostitution. This is why Ishtar was seen by early Christians as the whore of Babylon. And that's why the Statue of Liberty, the symbol of America, is called by the prophets as the whore of Babylon. Do you think it's just a coincidence that the U.S., the home of the greatest and most famous statue of Ishtar, provides 65% of pornographic movies and adult entertainment to the world? Is it just another coincidence this is the country where sexual liberation originated and spread to the rest of the world? It's not. We started to promote transgender rights and in an unprecedented decision, the U.S. Supreme Court declared gay marriage legal. And the media has raised them to the level of entertainment. Movies, television programs, radio, magazines, comics, you name it. The majority of Americans are happily entertained by these immoral behaviors. It's just like the scriptures foretold. Revelations 18.3 For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. The last clue is the description of Babylon as the daughter of Chaldea. This too has profound symbolism rooted in geography and the rise of the United States. Chaldea is a region in the Middle East most inhabited by Semitic tribes during the time of the prophets. Out of the family of Semitic tribes, the most powerful and influential one today is represented by the Jews or Israelites. According to scripture, Babylon would be a home to multitude of Jews who left the Holy Land. Jeremiah 50, 4 through 6 and 8, 51, 6 and 45, Isaiah 48, 20 and also Revelation 18, 4. Today, the largest population of Jewish people is found in the United States. Furthermore, 48% of American billionaires are Jewish and have made their wealth in the U.S., contributing to its rise as the world's only superpower. You might recognize some of the names on this list. The daughter of the Chaldeans, the nation that the Jewish people helped rise to superpower status, is the United States of America. The U.S. today has the most powerful economy and military, controls worldwide commerce, is proud and arrogant, has the most developed air force and space program, and it is the envy of the world. It houses the Whore of Babylon. It is the daughter of the British Empire and the child of the Chaldeans. And unfortunately for every living American, it is the mystery Babylon. Why? Jeremiah 51. Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. Howl for her, take balm for her pain, if so be she may be healed. A sound of a cry cometh from Babylon, in great destruction from the land of the Chaldeans. Because the Lord hath spoiled Babylon, and destroyed out of her the great voice. Revelation 18 Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine. And she shall be burned with fire, for strong is the Lord God who judgeth her. Jeremiah 50 at the noise of the taking of Babylon, the earth is moved, and the cry is heard among the nations. Isaiah 47 Sit thou silent, and get thee into darkness, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called the Lady of Kingdoms. All three prophets tell of the fall of Babylon, the destruction of the United States of America as we know it. This is not an event that happened to ancient Babylon in the past. History has never recorded the fall of a state or a city in the way described by the prophets. And just like all the other events accurately predicted by the Bible, the two world wars, the rise and fall of communism, and the return of the Jewish people to their homeland, and so many others, this too will happen. The only questions left to ask are, who will cause its fall, when, and how? Who will destroy Babylon America? Isaiah 13, 5. They come from a far country, from the end of heaven, even the Lord, and the weapons of his indignation to destroy the whole land. Jeremiah 53, For out of the north there cometh up a nation against her, which shall make her land desolate. Draw a straight line north of the U.S. through the Arctic, the end of heaven, and you will find the answer. Russia is the great enemy of Babylon, the enemy destined to destroy it. The Holy Scripture is again very precise. 
Even though it's been written centuries before the US or Russia became world powers, it clearly describes both countries that are prophesized to start World War III. And at the start of the World War III, Russia will use a very special weapon, the weapon of indignation against the whole territory of the US and then lead the invasion of a great assembly of nations. Now that we know who is responsible, the next logical question is, when will it happen? As you have seen before, we are going through the biblical end of times. Babylon America has fulfilled the prophecies that foretold its coming, and now, according to the Bible, it will meet its demise. The clues about when the great disaster shall be fallen are hidden in the book of Daniel, another major biblical prophet. In chapter 11, 40 of his prophecies describes a great war fought by two kings at the end of times, one from the north and one from the south. So if we could connect these two kings to two current world leaders, we would know how close we are to the destruction of Babylon. The key to understanding the clue of the two kings is the position of Jerusalem, because this is where Daniel had his revelations. To the north of Jerusalem is St. Petersburg, birthplace of Vladimir Putin. What else does the prophecy say about the king of the north? Daniel 11:36, and the king shall do according to his will. Putin wants what he wants. He controls the media, the military, and the economy of Russia. Daniel 11:37. he shall magnify himself above all. Russian media portrays Putin as a huntsman, judo expert, chess master, brilliant politician and diplomat, pilot, and overall strongman above the former communist leaders in every way. Daniel 11:38. but in his estate shall he honor the god of forces. Russian military spending has exploded since Putin came to power. This is how he honors the god of forces. And there you have it. Vladimir Putin is undoubtedly the king of the north that will guide Russia in the end of times. But what about the king of the south? Geographically, he has to be born in the south of Jerusalem. Barack Obama was born either in Hawaii or Kenya, depending on who you want to believe, both of which are to the south of Jerusalem. But what does the prophet say about him? Daniel 11:14. And in those times, there shall many stand up against the king of the south. Never in our history have so many people disagreed with U.S. policies or hated the United States, Russia, China, North Korea, a big part of the Muslim world including Syria, Egypt, Iraq, Afghanistan, Pakistan, and the list goes on and on. Remember the assembly of great nations that invade America? These clues prove that Obama is the king of the south as the prophecies foretold. So if Barack Obama and Vladimir Putin are the kings of prophecy, then their war must start before they leave office. That means January 2017. The end of Babylon is very, very near, and we are directly on course for this prophecy to be fulfilled. And Obama is playing his part to the letter. Daniel 11:40. And at the time of the end shall the king of the south push at him. These words are coming true as we speak. Obama has been a thorn in Putin's side since he came into office. He went after weak pro-Russian countries, such as Syria and Ukraine. Syria was thrown into turmoil by CIA-funded Islamic fundamentalists and jihadists. While Ukraine was on the brink of civil war because of protests against the pro-Russian leadership backed and funded by the CIA, due to Obama's meddling in Ukraine, Putin had to step in and take control of a strategically valuable region known as Crimea. Even more alarmingly, a massive amount of NATO hardware has been sent to Russia's border. And Putin knows this too well, as this clip shows. <laughs> the Ukraine conflict saw the Western powers led by Obama imposing drastic economic sanctions on Russian banking and energy sectors, key parts of Russian economy. Interestingly, economic sanctions have preceded every U.S. war in the 21st century. Russian oil experts were the target of a secret deal signed between Obama and Saudi Arabia that caused the price of oil to die from $100 a barrel to close to $40 a barrel. Russia is dependent on oil exports as 40% of its budget comes from it. That is why the Russian ruble, the Russian currency, has lost 50% of its value since August 2014. That means that for people in Russia, they can only buy half the stuff they used to afford. Once poverty starts kicking in, the Russians will want blood and Putin will be left with very few options. Because when Russia falls apart, war will be the only option. And the King of the North knows this too well. You are now witnessing the last months, maybe weeks, before the Russian attack that destroys Mystery Babylon, Obama's America. 
The Bible tells us about the Russian attack. And most importantly, Putin's weapon of indignation, a weapon unlike anything the world has ever seen before. This weapon can hit an entire country. How has Babylon become a desolation among the nations? Jeremiah 50, 22, and 23. This weapon makes the U.S. military unable to respond, broken because of what looks like equipment malfunction. How is the hammer of the whole earth cut asunder and broken? The mighty men of Babylon have forborne to fight. They have remained in their holds. Their might hath failed. Jeremiah 51, 30. And this weapon leaves Babylon silent and in darkness. Sit thou silent. There is only one weapon that can affect an entire continent. Leave the military unable to defend itself and plunge America into silence and darkness. Vladimir Putin's weapon of indignation is an electromagnetic pulse. An EMP, or electromagnetic pulse, is an electromagnetic discharge that fries sensitive circuits within minutes, even seconds. Most modern-day appliances, the gadgets we use daily, and even the U.S. power grid all have sensitive circuits built in. Think of a normal blackout when you don't have any lights, heating, or running water. But on a nationwide scale that will not last for days or weeks, but for years. This means you can also say goodbye to telecommunications, transportation, and even utilities. Silence and darkness is the only sure outcome. Military command and control, as well as most of the high-tech equipment, is very vulnerable to an EMP. One blast will reduce our army to fighting using weapons that existed before the 1900s. This weapon fulfills the Bible prophecy to the letter. It's swift, has a huge area of effect, knocks out our military, breaks the hammer of the earth, and sets the stage for the assembly of nations to invade. And all it takes is not 100, not even 50, but just one warhead to be detonated above the US and the effects would be irreversible. An EMP device that can strategically be detonated at an altitude of 20 miles above the surface of our country that will permanently cripple our power grid and plunge America into silence and darkness. The real danger of an EMP is that you won't even know it happened. You wouldn't hear it, see it, there's no fallout or debris. And the King of the North was drilled his soldiers to do exactly that. There have never been so many nuclear drill exercises targeting the US in recent history. Putin is preparing to fulfill his role according to the Holy Book. The effects of the EMP will destroy America as we know it. Looters, famine, civil unrest, and finally, the foreign invasion. Exactly as the scriptures predicted. Revelation 18.8 Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be burned with fire, for strong is the Lord God who judgeth her. The EMP will be an event so catastrophic that will trigger several death waves. Starting with the elderly and people on life support, as the machines that keep them alive will be fried by the blast. With backup generators destroyed by the EMP, hospitals and pharmacies won't be able to function and the chronically ill will be the next group to perish. Insulin and other heat-sensitive medicine must be kept at low temperatures. And with the fridge out of commission, your stockpiles will be compromised in a blink of the eye. No electricity means no tap water, no waste pumping or garbage collecting. This will result in full-blown pandemics all across the nation that will claim countless lives, especially of children and old people. And this is only the beginning. As the supply of food breaks down, famine starts setting in, and with it, looting and food riots. Some Americans trample each other on Black Friday over a toaster. Can you imagine what will happen during an EMP when all the power is out? Even worse, with the grid down and backup generators fried, the doors to all the prisons and mental institutions all across the nation will swing open and the streets will be flooded with serial killers, rapists, child molesters, violent gang members, and every other kind of deranged lunatics that we've locked up over the years. Not to mention that every criminal that is still on the loose will see the EMP strike as an opportunity to carry out every insane fantasy they have. And don't think the police, FBI, FEMA, National Guard, or any other law enforcement agency will step and end the madness. They will be overwhelmed and without electricity, they won't even be able to coordinate with one another. Not even the firefighters will be able to react as their equipment will not work. Fires will break out and the cities shall be burned with fire. The Congressional EMP Commission estimates that 9 out of 10 Americans will be dead by the end of the first year. 
and after the nation destroys itself from within and without our network of communication, most Americans will have no idea the invasion has begun. This is how the prophets describe the coming invasion. Jeremiah 50, 2, 14, and 15. Babylon is taken. Put yourselves in array against Babylon roundabout. All ye that bend the bow, shoot at her, spare no arrows. Shout against her roundabout. She hath given her hand. Her foundations are fallen, her walls are thrown down. Daniel 40, 11. And the king of the north shall come against him like a whirlwind, with chariots and with horsemen and with many ships. Jeremiah 51, 3 and 4. And spare ye not her young men, destroy ye utterly all her host. The visions detail the level of devastation this unstoppable invasion will bring. Unfortunately, all of this is inevitable. The word and will of our Lord will be fulfilled to the letter. As chilling as this prophecy and warning is, you should not despair and lose faith. Our Lord will take care of his faithful. There is still hope, as our Lord says through his prophets. But the ones who endure to the end will be saved. Matthew 24, 13. Besides this, you know the time, which the hour has come for you to wake from sleep. For salvation is nearer to us now than when we first believed. Romans 13, 11. Cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. 1 Peter 5, 7. For God did not give us a spirit of timidity, but a spirit of power, of love, and of self-discipline. 2 Timothy 1, 7. Our Lord has ensured that the ones who believe his word will survive the coming tribulation. That's why you need to start preparing for the weapon of indignation and the terrible invasion to follow. Do not think it was anything else but divine intervention that you are here on this page now. God has not given up on you. Surely God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. The Lord, the Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. Isaiah 12:2. I was a lost sheep in my youth years, and I saw the hand of God reaching out to me with all his mercy and delivering me from evil. I am most humbled to be one of his servants and to have been given the strength to reach out to my brothers and bring them the holy word, the word of salvation. My years of research, spending hundreds of hours in libraries reading books, watching all the documentaries and interviews I could find, meeting righteous people whom their flock calls them survivalists, they all led me in the same direction. Salvation is near. And all the while, the right answers have been staring me in the face. There are people in the U.S. who follow the word of God and live by it. Our Lord and Savior will protect his faithful, and they will continue their lives as they have lived before the fall of Babylon. Because I have to tell you, I do not stand alone today. There's a few virtuous people in my flock who willingly sacrifice their time, and above all their safety to step out today and reveal to you what no one else had the courage or even the knowledge for that matter, to warn you about. And just as I was beginning to lose my faith, because honest to God, I had no clue to what solution so powerful could stand against this evil weapon of mass destruction and save hundreds of millions of Americans, a young disciple of mine unknowingly opened my eyes. He had studied for his doctoral thesis, the life of a small community of evangelical Christians wanting to portray how religious beliefs are affected by the number of people in a particular congregation. To do that, he lived in this small town of only 200 families for no less than one year and a half. His doctoral thesis was a revelation to me, even though he had no clue what I and my trusted colleagues were working on. The people in this evangelical congregation live simple lives and maintain traditions that go back over 300 years. They go to church, they grow their own food for their families, and whatever surplus they have, they share with the rest of the families. Not only that, but they barely use any electricity, and when they do, it's off the grid. From them, we can learn to survive, thrive, and build a community in a post-EMP world. Because this small community of faithful people is the closest thing to a self-sufficient and indestructible society. Unfortunately, he could not make video or audio recordings of their way of life as any modern technology is forbidden there. But he was allowed to take notes that describe in vivid details their way of life. Through this young man, I've discovered ways to keep food from spoiling without a fridge, in a secret they use to store heat-sensitive medicine. In surprising places where you can find drinkable water, enough to sustain your family for months, even if you live in an arid region. I learned how anyone, and this includes seniors and kids, can survive without electricity. The only condition is, they need to know what to do when the power goes out. Sure, it wouldn't be a luxurious life or even a comfortable life at first, but your family, your loved ones, and even your entire community can stay alive. 
They have the true biblical solution to the coming disaster. I realized that this information had to be available to every family out there. Therefore, we joined our forces and got to work and developed a special program based on the teaching of these God-fearing people to prepare anyone for the coming war and the great tribulations to follow. This program is designed to help fellow patriots and Christians cope with everything the King of the North throws at us. This will be the toughest survival situations you'll ever face. And knowledge, preparation, and faith in the teachings of our Lord and the people who follow His Word are the only things that will get you through. And I have named the survival package, Survive the End Days. This program is designed to help you and your loved ones survive the weapon of indignation in the aftermath of the invasion. It shows you not just how to survive, but also how to flourish after an EMP hits Babylon, America. Remember, this disaster will hit before the start of 2017. It will be sudden and devastating, just like the Holy Scriptures predicted. Who among us could have predicted 9-11? But unlike that tragedy, the Lord warned that this disaster is coming. He gave us time and explained in great detail how the fall of Babylon, America will happen. He gave us time to prepare. Those who are unprepared will suffer greatly because they did not listen to his words and follow his teachings. As with all other prophecies that have come true, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. Do not be deceived. God is not mocked. For whatever a man sows, this he will also reap. Galatians 6, 7. With God guiding our steps, we created the Survive the End Days program, a unique guide tailored especially for every Christian and red-blooded patriot out there. That takes the principles of living off the grid and mixes it with cutting-edge knowledge to deliver a comprehensive program that will enable you not only to survive the coming EMP apocalypse, but also to become the leader of the pack when society turns on its head. It took 16 months to trim the fat from years of hard research and develop this comprehensive plain English written blueprint. And there's something here for every man, woman, and child, novice or expert that wants to overcome the horrors of the EMP apocalypse. Here's just a sample of what you're about to discover. How to take charge and overcome any life-threatening situation. Master the skills on page 190 and you'll get out alive no matter the odds. The number one reason prepping for an EMP strike is on a whole new level than basic prepping. This shocking revelation begins at page 22. How to prevent food and medicine from spoiling without a refrigerator. You'll kick yourself when you'll see how easy it is. Full details on page 86. How 15 household items can make the difference between life and death. Missing any of these items could cost your loved ones their life. Complete list at page 50. The 7 must-have medical supplies that can get you through any disaster. Make sure you don't miss any of them on page 131. Increase your survival odds by boosting your immunity with these 8 wild plants. Complete list and benefits on page 98. Packing a bug out bag. Make sure to add salt and duct tape to the checklist. See why on page 60. Why radio communication will still be available and how to stay connected to your loved ones. Explanation on page 30. Never leave your kids out of the prepping process and how to get them excited to pitch in. Apply the principles on page 196 and they'll eagerly await the next survival lesson. The 10 foods that will last you 10 years. Why spend $1,900 for a three-month supply when you can get the best nutrient-packed survival food for a fraction of that price? Check out page 58 for the expert's choice of long-term survival food. What steps you must take when storing your own water. If you skip one of them, you may compromise your water supply. You can see why the survival guide is like none you've ever run across. Wouldn't you love to guarantee yourself and your loved ones place to witness the second coming? To stay true to the teachings of the Bible and be a part of the new kingdom of Christ? Not to fall prey to the merciless bands of crazed looters that will run wild with no one to keep them in check. To have plenty of food, water, and a warm bed instead of freezing to death in makeshift shelters. While your hunger-struck children scrounge through garbage bins for a measly piece of bread or half-eaten rotten apple. I do not wish that for you or for your family. God does not wish that for you or your family. A man's heart plans his way but the Lord directs his steps. Proverbs 16, 9. He has guided you here so you can receive the knowledge that will deliver you from the evils that will befell our great nation. To discover the DIY that will save your life, find out what tinfoil and a wooden box have to do with EMP survival at page 42. Are thorny hedges under the widows a good idea? Find out the answer on page 173. Why you shouldn't start eating your food supplies from day one? This crucial information is found on page 66. 
the five EMP-proof cars that will help you get out of Dodge and how to fuel them even after the EMP. Page 106. Don't let your food lifeline fall prey to these six devastating enemies of food storage. Ignore any one of them and you might starve after the EMP. The top 10 paper documents you must save. Most survival guides overlook these items, but they will prove extremely valuable in the long run. Page 27. Why spend money on canned food when you can do it yourself? Two valuable methods available on page 78. The hidden water sources around your house that will prove a lifesaver if you run out of water. Plus, unlike other survival guides that just teach you the basics and feed you general info, this book will provide you with hundreds of pages full with detailed information specifically designed for long-term survival, like survival mode ration, what you need to eat, and how much to meet your daily needs, the four environmental injuries you need to protect against and how to treat them, menacing wildlife that you need to know how to avoid, how to set up a multiple perimeter alarm system with just some tangle foot wire, bells, and a seismic intrusion detection sensors, plus the foolproof technique to become completely invisible to looters and invaders, and much, much more. This is truly an eye-opener for all true patriots and Christians that just want to come out alive from the turmoil that will soon be upon us. As James from Texas wrote me, I've been a prepper 10 years now, and I consider myself quite the expert. But your book showed me how wrong I was. After reading just a couple of the chapters, I realized that I was still a novice when it came to real long-term prepping. Thank the Lord that I stumbled upon your presentation in time to correct the errors of my ways and truly prepare for what is about to befell our great nation. The survival payoffs you receive from the knowledge we're offering you will ensure that you'll be able to face head-on anything life throws at you. To come out with your head held high, proud that you had the foresight to prepare for something most modern Americans can't even imagine. It wasn't easy getting this information. True long-term survival knowledge is hard to come across. That evangelical community's way of life gave us a foundation, but we had to go through countless documentaries, guides, medical journals, history books, blueprints, nutrition manuals, and much more to be able to provide you with a survival guide to top all others. What's more, most survival experts would rather eat dirt than hand over their closely guarded survival secrets. It's incredibly frustrating for us to see that most of the information readily available are half-truths at best and damn right life-threatening at worst. That's why getting the Survive the End Days guide to you is so important for us. Because this guide is written with you in mind, it's so easy to understand and apply that it doesn't matter if you're in your 30s or 70s. You'll still be able to benefit from this knowledge and escape all the madness. And I'll be there each step of the way, imparting to you notes and information that are otherwise not readily available, like three ways of smoking meat and how to build your very own smokehouse. Discover the seven easy steps of preserving your meat for months on page 75. Why following the one gallon per day rule of water storage will get you killed and how to truly determine your family's water needs. The nine essential amino acids no one ever told you about, but are crucial to your survival. Most preppers are oblivious to them and stockpile all the wrong food. Find out if you're one of them on page 52. Does your house pass the survival security check? Discover the weak points of your home and how to fix them on page 169. Is your family ready to survive if something bad happens to you? Get a full survival plan for the whole family on page 48. First aid kit. The advanced version. Find out what 14 extra items can make the difference between life and death on page 129. Gain master level savvy when it comes to storing your food supply. Discover on page 34 the three vital items you need to have in order to ensure your food supply doesn't spoil. Drill these eight plants into your mind and stay away from them. Gain the life-saving knowledge on page 94. Broken radio? Don't worry. On page 37, you'll learn how to make one from scraps. Gain the skills of veteran combat medics by learning how to perform a tracheotomy. Learning the technique at page 136 will save the life of your loved ones. And believe it or not, this is just a very brief summary of what this package includes. With the proper knowledge, mindset, and the foresight to understand that a greater tragedy than the Holocaust is looming on the horizon. Anyone can survive anything. And I truly desire this for every red-blooded true patriot and Christian out there. I don't want you to end up a number on Putin's kill sheet or beg and grovel in termination camps. I want to arm you with the power to create your own future. To not only survive, but to thrive when all hell breaks loose and the streets will run red with the blood of innocence. How much is this power worth to you? To have the medicine to keep your mother alive. 
or to put food on the table when your child is hungry, to be a leader among your peers, the only one with all the answer. Let's face it, life-saving information like this is not cheap. And neither is spending thousands upon thousands of dollars on the newest trended survival gear and food. And I won't even talk about the personal cost would be. If you're caught unprepared with no supplies, skills, knowledge, and understanding of what true long-term survival really is, plus if you go out and grab the first survival guide you find, you'll get absolutely nothing in the way of actual usable long-term survival techniques. And you'll end up alone with more questions and no one to turn to for the answers. With Survive the End Days program, you'll get ongoing support forever as a member. And what do you think a fair price would be? $295 would be more than fair, but what kind of true Christian would I be if I tried to get rich when catastrophe looms on the horizon? How could I follow the teachings of the Bible and aim to make a profit? I couldn't, which is why you're not going to have to pay anywhere near $295 to grab a copy of the Survive the End Days today. Actually, you're not even going to pay $169 or $97. Charging that much will be against the very purpose to save as many Christians as God lets us. To tell you the truth, we would love to give this life-saving guide away for free. And if we had all the money in the world to fund this ourselves, we would. But the grim reality is, we're up against dark forces. If NSA, CIA, FEMA, or any other state agency catches wind of this presentation, they'll bury it, and our efforts to help all the true believers in the Word of God will be snuffed. So we need your help to cover the web maintenance and other costs of bringing this to you by investing a meager $49 in your long-term survival. And with this generous contribution, we'll also be able to continuously research and provide you with the most reliable information out there. After all you see about the Survive the End Days guide, I'm sure you agree that this offer is of undeniable value. However, the Bible teaches us that, Give generously to them and do so without a grudging heart. Then because of this, the Lord your God will bless you in all your work and in everything you put your hand to. Deuteronomy 15.10 If it is giving, then give generously. Roman 12, 8. That is why as a special thank you for watching this limited time presentation and opening your heart and mind to the hidden secrets of the Bible, I'm going to go and do you even one better. Through today's one-time only offer, you're going to get the Survive the End Days program plus 10 additional free bonus products I'm about to reveal for only $49. If you want to make the decision today and to be given a simple, easy-to-follow, time-and-tested way of living when the grid goes down, Act now by clicking the Add to Cart button below. Right after you click that button, you'll be taken to our secure encrypted checkout page where you'll fill in your payment details. Once you do that, you'll get your special login credentials and get instant access to the Survive the End Days plus the 10 free bonus products. That we'll get to in just a moment. You can access this information from your computer, tablet, and phone anywhere you want, anytime you need it. And also print as many copies as you wish. The only true long-term solution for surviving the EMP attack and living a good life in the midst of all of the ensuing chaos is just 20 seconds away. And all it takes is a click of a button. So go ahead and make your move now. And listen, I'm a good Christian. I don't want you to have any doubts or worries about taking this crucial step to ensure you and your loved ones are safe and sound when pandemonium takes hold of our nation. That's why I'm willing to take all the risks here and give you my 60 days, no questions asked, money back guarantee. Go through the guide and the 10 bonus reports. See how they answer to your needs. You can even send us questions or any kind of advice you might have. And if for any reason you're not satisfied with the Survive the End Days program, simply ask us for a refund and we'll give it to you. Every last penny, no questions, no hassles. And as a thank you for giving the program a shot, you can keep all the bonus products. Why am I being so generous? Because I follow the teachings of our Lord Savior. Matthew 12, 31. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. No other commandment is greater than these. And if the tables were turned, I would want someone to give me all the tools I need to overcome the EMP apocalypse and be witness to the second coming of Christ. I've dedicated this website to true patriots and Christians. It's not about the money. Money will become useless when Babylon America falls. This website is my way of repenting for any sins I've committed in my life. I want to make sure that the people who need this crucial information and who truly believe in the sacred words of the Holy Scriptures have a chance to survive the coming storm. People like William from Utah who wrote me, I now feel that my survival preparation is complete thanks to you. This is honestly the best survival book I've ever come across. You helped remove the veil off my eyes and let me see the disturbing truth that has been right in front of us. 
I don't have any more words to describe the major impact that your book had on me. Because of you, my family and I will still have a future. Thank you, William. Or Tiffany from Alabama who said, May God keep you in good health, Nathan. You are truly doing God's work by spreading this vital information. I hope it reaches all true Christians so that they may prepare to overcome the hardships of these prophecies. They heeded the signs and took advantage of the opportunity to join the Survive the End Days program alongside 139,467 Christians that saw this presentation and decided they will do everything in their power to witness the second coming of Christ. They are already putting to good use the knowledge gathered in the Survive the End Days guide and its 10 free special reports which I am going to reveal right now. In How to Survive the Next Nuclear Attack, you will discover everything you will need to protect against a nuclear attack. You will learn how to react in the first hours to minimize exposure, how to find clean water and edible food, what common items could turn your house into an atomic bunker, and much more. The Chemical War Survival Guide will reveal to you all the different types of chemical weapons, how to identify them, to protect against them, and what to use to counter their deadly effect. An American's Arsenal Bible Ever wondered how to make your own ammo? With the help of this special report, you'll never have to worry about running out of bullets in a survival situation. Plus, you'll also learn the 8 gun safety rules that everyone ignores and how to create your own makeshift weapons. Life-saving EMP Bunker Discover the step-by-step -step guide of creating your very own EMP bunker and the crucial 9 assessments you need to consider. Efficient Cooking Without Electricity The ability to cook during a crisis or disaster is vitally important to the long-term safety and security of your family. Within the pages of this report, you discover 8 different cooking methods of putting warm food in your children's belly, 50 super easy to cook wild game recipes. Long term survival doesn't have to mean eating only canned foods. Sooner or later, you'll want some fresh meat on the table. That's why we've put together a detailed cookbook for 50 mouth watering recipes that you can cook anywhere, anytime. Fight like an elite soldier. Discover devastating techniques to take out any opponent with your bare hands, even if he's armed. How to barter for profit. In the aftermath of the EMP, money will become useless, so you'll need to learn the forgotten art of barter. This special report will provide you with insight into bartering techniques as well as what items and skills will be the most sought after items in a post crisis situation. 10 minute workout plan A fast, easy, yet highly effective workout routine that can skyrocket your survival odds. You'll also discover what foods aid you in getting the healthy and strong body you've always desired. Conquer the unknown without using maps or GPS. Have you ever wondered how is it that native people all over the world traveled without the merit of a compass, with great precision? The answer? They used natural navigational aids. With the help of this special guide, you'll learn how to use everything from the stars to trees and plants to reach your destination. Each bonus is worth $67 on its own, but especially for you today only. You get all of it for only $49, fully guaranteed for 60 days. And since you grabbed your copy of Survive the End Days, aside from these bonuses, you'll also be getting unlimited access to our congregation discussion area, where you will benefit from all the support and information you'll ever need to survive and thrive in the coming apocalypse. This is where me and my team are ready to answer any questions at any time regarding your survival needs. We'll be there to help you if you need any clarification on anything. I want you to click the Add to Cart button below this video because you want to survive and see the second coming of our Lord Savior. So let's hold hands and create a bridge of salvation throughout His holy land. Because the value of taking the step is more than your life, it's your salvation. Think about what value you put on being the only reliable man in your community, to be the only one who is independent when this great evil will come to the US, to have the power to protect and save your family, even to rebuild your community during the end times. Food, water, Shelter. You'll have it. Keep in mind your much appreciated contribution will keep this website running and help spread the knowledge of the coming catastrophe so that many more will be saved. I don't know about you, but I wouldn't choose to do nothing. Because choosing to sit on your hands is a choice. I don't want this opportunity to just pass me by and end up in my neighbor's hands, and then be me and my family begging him for help, food, and water. I don't want to be overwhelmed with guilt and frustration because I didn't take action now. If you're anything like me, you don't want to be at someone else's mercy, be it a friend or neighbor. You want to take pride in your ability to survive any disaster, to rise to the challenge and overcome with the confidence of a born leader. You've got a decision to make. You can either bury your head in the sand, pretend like there's nothing going on, and when the EMP hits, 
You'll dig through trash bins for a bite to eat, fighting with other desperate starving people for any scraps you will find. That is, if you live long enough to get hungry, chances are you'll end up being killed by one of the mobs of crazed looters that will take over the streets. Or you can sleep like a baby, safe and sound, knowing that you've done all the preparations. You have all the food, all the water, all you need to survive, not months, but years. All the while keeping such a low profile that no one will ever notice you exist. And even if they come knocking, you're more than prepared to take them on. What if getting all the skills and knowledge to survive the EMP apocalypse is as easy as I have told you? What your life would be like a few months from now when the world goes to hell in a handbasket? People around you eating stale bread and maybe some canned beans, and your family is having steak for dinner. Would you be more confident? Would you be more at ease? Would it be okay to become the guy everyone turns to for help? And see how proud your wife and kids will be when they see that you've literally become the leader of the pack. Well, right now, you've got an opportunity to take control, to grab the reins and join the tens of thousands of other true patriots like you, who are even as we speak, getting prepared for what's about to go down. And like I said, I'm going to take all the risk here. You've got 60 days to return it if you don't like it. Join us and get the complete Survive the End Days right now by clicking on the Add to Cart button just below this video. In just a few short seconds, we'll get access to all my secret knowledge. Your privacy is guaranteed, the billing is secure and private, and you get digital access instantly. But you must take action now because all the bonuses will soon be taken out of the offer and you'll have to pay the full price for them. I don't know for how long I can keep the price so low, the costs of running the site are rising by the hour. This site may not be here in 24 hours because of NSA, CIA, or FEMA got wind of it. Which means that if you don't click the Add to Cart button below this video right now, you'll lose any chance to uncover the survival secrets of true long-term survival, the right foods to store and how to get out of Dodge without anyone noticing, to be warm and comfortable even in the middle of the woods and to defend your loved ones from a hungry mob. I've opened the door for you. Now you have to walk through it. I thank you for watching this till the very end, and I leave the choice in your hands. God bless you, and God bless America. Still here? Let me just answer some of the most common questions you might have about the biblical prophecies and the Survive the End Days program. Why should I prepare for the end of Babylon America if it is going to be wiped out according to the scripture? You're right in asking this. Judging by the words of the prophets, 80% of Americans will not make it. That's because they have been ignorant of the prophecies and did not prepare. In the words of the prophet Matthew 24, 13, but the one who endures to the end will be saved. This program is designed to keep you alive and endure until the glory of the second coming of our Lord and Savior. If all electronics and even networks like communication channels are down, why do I need a Faraday cage to store my electronics? As you probably already know, you're not alone. The prepping community is constantly growing. As fellow Christians and patriots, we will help each other survive. Having the possibility of communicating via radio can save your life in a post-apocalyptic world. Also, a Faraday cage isn't built to put your iPhone in it. You can store plenty of useful things like a flashlight or spare repair parts for cars. What are the immediate effects of the EMP, Putin's weapon of indignation? Despite popular beliefs, planes won't be falling down from the sky and some cars, including newer models, might still work. However, some effects will be much worse. An EMP blast won't have any direct effects over the people. There will be no visible or noticeable explosion. The first noticeable thing will be a lack of electricity. The effects, however, are morbid. The first death wave would come moments after the EMP, and in a matter of one week, our civilization would turn into a primitive and barbaric world. Add to that the inevitable invasion of the assembly of armies from the north, and you get a nightmare scenario for America. Time is wasting. If the words of the prophets and all the facts I have showed you are not enough to convince you to make such a puny investment, then I can only pray for your soul. You already know this may be your only chance of making it out alive. Click the Add to Cart button now and give Survive the End Days a try. As I've already shown, you have nothing to lose. Survive the End Days. Three. But before we go any further, you need to know just who I am and how I came into the position of revealing such shocking facts. My name is Nathan Shepard. I've been a fervent Christian ever since I was a child. I've put my life in the services of God, committing my time to the study of archaeology and theology. And I've given 17 years of my life to studying the ancient scriptures. As a pastor and teacher to one of the largest universities in New Haven, Connecticut, using my worldly doctor's degree in theology and the history of religions to unravel the mysteries encoded in the Bible, 
Before making this video, I taught for four years the master class for methods of scientific research in religion, preparation, challenges, and possible solutions. Until one day, by divine providence, I made a startling discovery that connected all the hidden clues. With the grace of God, I received illumination about the place of the United States in Bible prophecy. You must understand, the holy texts of the Bible are full of metaphors and symbolism because the prophets tried to describe things that didn't exist in their time. So when the prophets saw airplanes in their visions, the description would be mount up to the heaven, referring to air travel in the Air Force. Just like it will ascend above the heights of the clouds, it will be the most high is clearly a metaphor for reaching space. The fact that both of these metaphors refer to a nation known to Bible scholars as the Babylon or Mystery Babylon is no coincidence. Mystery Babylon is an end times nation. How else would it be able to have an air force in reach space? And it is described in great detail by John the Apostle in the book of Revelation and by the prophets Jeremiah and Isaiah. Holy men who have heard the word of God and carefully put in writing to save our lost souls when the tribulation comes. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Isaiah 41.10 through the account of John the Apostle and the prophets Jeremiah and Isaiah, Babylon is hailed as a queen among nations and the lady of kingdoms. It, is, it all starts with one simple question. Does it not seem odd to you that America, the richest and most powerful country today, the only country has liberated other nations from evil, the greatest evangelical nation on the earth, is not even mentioned in the Bible? After all, as we know, the Bible accurately predicts so many other historical events. The two world wars, man reaching outer space and the return of the Jews to their homeland after centuries of exile. All of these events were seen and described by the prophets in their writings. America played the key role in all of this. Yet, the church does not teach America's place in the Bible, and there is a very good reason for that. One which I will reveal in a few moments. I will show you exactly why this knowledge is a closely guarded secret. And you'll see that we are getting closer and closer to fulfilling this ancient prophecy as the world leaders and their armies are covertly maneuvered into place in preparation for the events that lead to the second coming of our Lord. Most importantly, you will see the exact reason why this prophecy will come true before the 1st of January 2017, and you will know God's wrath will bestow upon our lands with great vengeance. But I will warn you whom to fear. Fear him who, after he is killed, has authority to cast into hell. Yes, I tell you, fear him. Luke 12, 5. The adversaries of the Lord shall be broken to pieces. Against them he will thunder in heaven. The Lord will judge the ends of the earth. He will give strength to his king and exalt the power of his anointed. 1 Samuel 2.10 As it is God's will that you are here now, witnessing the unmasking of evil, it is the will of our Lord and Savior that you and your family see this and be saved from all the wrongdoings of our times, just as the Holy Word says. I have told you these things, so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. John 16, 30, the youngest and only superpower in the world. Jeremiah 47, Revelations 18. According to the prophets, Babylon reigneth over the kings of the earth. Revelation 17, 18. It was the praise of the entire earth and an astonishment among the nations. Jeremiah 51, 47. Babylon is a democracy weighed down by its huge government. Thou art wearied in the multitude of thy counsels. Isaiah 47, 13. It has the most powerful military force on the planet and is called the hammer of the whole earth. Jeremiah 50, 23. The merchants of the world are made rich through trading with this nation. And the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. Revelations 18, 3. Is it starting to look like they're talking about the United States of America? The description gets even more specific from now on. The nation is a coastal nation with deep water ports and much international trade. And every shipmaster and all the company and ships and sailors and as many as trade by sea. Revelations 18.17 O thou that dwellest upon many waters, abundant in treasures. Jeremiah 51.13 Bear in mind that ancient Babylon, current day Iraq, has very limited access to the sea. Babylon has a unique and remarkable beginning different from other nations and has been awe-inspiring from its birth. Isaiah 18.2 The U.S. is the first country to successfully become independent from a colonial empire, the British Empire. We speak the English language and we are the descendants of the first British colonies. That's why England is like a mother to the U.S. It fits perfectly with the description in Jeremiah 50.12. 
More so, the mother of Babylon has the symbol of the lion. Daniel 7.4, Ezekiel 38.13, Jeremiah 51.38, Psalm 17.12. The royal symbol of England is a lion. And the mother of Babylon in the end of times will be a state of major decline as the end nears. Jeremiah 50.12. The British Empire... Little do you know that Obama and the leaders of our church have a secret, sinister pact to hide from the public the most terrible warning encrypted inside our Holy Bible, the only prophecy that has remained obscured under thick veils to this day. Because according to the final chapters of the Bible, Obama will not finish his second term. He's the 44th and last president of the U.S. And our country and every American are about to face their greatest bedevilment from an enemy fiercer, devious, and more powerful than any we face so far. And while the public and the media have their attention set on ISIS, these dark forces are covertly moving into place, the last pieces of their diabolical plan. Right now, only a handful of church leaders know the true meaning of this biblical prophecy, and they swore a blood oath to take this sacred secret to their graves. Because if this leaks out, it will cause panic among all faithful followers of the words of our Lord. Obama himself is unaware of the extent of the massacre that is to come, and there is nothing anyone can do to prevent this from happening. This ancient prophecy is coded within the visions of four men. These four evangelists are John the Apostle, Jeremiah, Isaiah, and Ezekiel. They were chosen to give a very precise and terrifying warning of things to come in the end of times. This prophecy will fulfill the act of God, and the world as we know it will perish in flames. Therefore, before going any further, I must warn you, what you are about to see is deeply disturbing because it will link current events to ancient biblical prophecies step by step. Once you discover the chilling evidence of the words of our Lord coming true, there is no turning back. It is a revelation so powerful. When you see the biblical evidence that this great unavoidable ruination will come to reality, it will simply be impossible for you to go about your daily life like you used to before knowing the truth, and the empire that ruled the earth for 200 years is no more. Most of its colonies are now independent. The British pound is no longer the world reserve currency and has been replaced by the dollar, the currency of its daughter. The prophets also foretold that Babylon becomes proud and arrogant and does not consider its end. Therefore hear now this, thou that art given to pleasures that dwellest carelessly, that sayest in thine heart, I am, and none else beside me. Isaiah 17, 7 and 8. How much she hath glorified herself and lived deliciously. Revelations 18, 7. Does this sound like American exceptionalism? The strong belief rooted inside our people that America is different from other nations, better than them in every possible way. Even the name Mystery Babylon is also deeply symbolic. It's a mystery because the prophets at the time of the visions didn't know of the existence of the North American continent. They literally had no idea what they were actually seeing and described it as best they could. And in ancient times, Babylon was the greatest city in the world, just like America is the greatest country in the world today. Ancient Babylon was constructed by people that came from all parts of the ancient world, what we may call today immigrants, just like the United States. But what about the personification of Babylon in the scriptures as a woman? The prophets use the word her. This is another very precise clue given to us through metaphors and symbolism that are so abundant in the holy book. Ask yourself this, what is the most widely known symbol of America? What is the image most immigrants and tourists associate with the U.S.? Is it a woman symbolizing liberty that sits in the harbor of the most important city in the United States? This is a very cryptic but important detail as it shows just how accurate the prophecy is. The prophets talk about the U.S. by using its most recognizable monument, the Statue of Liberty. So why on earth are they also calling it the Whore of Babylon? The skull